on YouTube, on Facebook, and on the website. My name is Ayo Luibida from the Communications Department of the Nigeria Football Federation. It's a rare live interview with the CEO of the Nigeria Football Federation, the General Secretary, Dr. Mohamed Sanusi, and it's a pre-Afghan interview just to tell you how the Nigeria Football Federation is preparing and gearing towards Nigeria's participation at the 33rd edition of the Africa Cup of Nations. Welcome, sir, and compliments of the season. Thank you very much, Ayo, and thank you very much, viewers, for having me. You look already ready. <laughs> we are very much ready. <laughs> the FIFA is uh, holding us right here at the NFF. You are more busier than ever. Uh, first off, we have uh, Sony, you know, supporting the NFF communications department with uh, camera. What, what's your take on that? We thank Sony for that support. Uh, I've been made to understand by our consultant and the uh, technical, I mean, the media department that they gave them a very good camera which they are going to use for AFCON activities. And I hope uh, AFCON will come and be part of our partners and sponsors so that we'll continue to promote them. Definitely. So that's the message out for Sony uh, to come do the right thing and, you know, be part of the litany of sponsors the Nigeria Football Federation currently possess. But let, let's go straight up to the business. How has it been? I know your office is more busier than ever, like I said in the intro. You know, when you talk about preparing, it's not, you're not new to it. You've been around for a while, you know, at different tournaments, the Net World Cup, the Nations Cup. But this is a rare and different, unusual Nations Cup. How is the NFF preparing? It has not been easy, but we, we give glory to God. And, of course, I, I must start by thanking the federal government of Nigeria, especially the Commander-in-Chief, uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari, for being there, not just for football, but for all sports, uh, football in particular. I have always been saying, when you invest in sports, you are doing much more than what you see. And uh, because you use sports to fight social vices, you use sports to create employment, you use sports to create awareness. And that probably explains the reason why government came up with a policy of saying sports is now a business, not just a recreation. So we thank the federal government for doing that. Uh, the second one, of course, is to thank the Minister of Sports and his permanent secretary and all the uh, directors of the Ministry of Sports, you know, for good collaboration, uh, directives, and uh, of course, understanding. We have worked uh, seriously together to make sure that the team qualify for this uh, outcome. And uh, I will not forget uh, uh, states that have also assisted us. Uh, Delta was there for us. Uh, Edo was there for us. Lagos. And of course, Lagos, where we picked the final ticket. We are, we are grateful to them. Then to the members of the media that have uh, uh, positively criticized us and offer useful suggestions that made us to sit up and do what we are supposed to do, we are grateful to them and we want them to continue to support us. You know, offer positive criticisms. Players are human beings. Anytime they open pages of newspapers or they listen to radio and hear good comments about them, it motivates them more than giving them money. But if you are trying your best and a day is not yours, and you are criticized heavily for not doing well, it dumpens spirit. So we want the media to be there for them, for better, for worse. That would be a good motivator. And of course, to all the Nigerians for their prayers. You know, there is something technique and tactics will not do, which, the, which prayers will do. We thank them for that. Uh, we want them to continue to pray for, for, for the team. And the, the players have been exceptional. Uh, they left their clubs, uh, they left what they are doing to come on uh, 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 all national calls. You know, we know it is a pride to wear national color, but uh, we also believe that uh, wearing the national color gives them pride and, and prestige. But it is also a good thing that you have accepted to be part of it, and we are grateful to them. I will not forget our sponsors, you know, that helped us throughout our campaigning period and beyond. Uh, without them, we wouldn't have been where we, we are. On our own part, as a federation, we did what we were supposed to do by creating the enabling environment. You know, you have to have an enabling environment for the coaches to do their technical job. We just don't interfere in the coaching job of the coaches. We allow them, we allow them to do their technical job while we do our administrative job. But together, we're able to tr train the team, we're able to achieve what we have achieved. So uh, as I'm talking to you now, our team is already in Cameroon and we pray that they will lift the trophy. Okay, just one more question before we wrap this up. Uh, a lot of commendations are coming through for your office. You know, a lot of people don't understand, you know, how it is, you know, to handle, you know, players' invitation and relationship with clubs that will always relate, 
release these players? How have you been able to manage the situation? A lot of people thought maybe it would have been this, but of course it's not easy because definitely these players will be called again and you have to maintain a cordial relationship with these clubs that also pay their wages. Yes, when you have uh, the right people at the right place, you will not have problem. Even if you have, you will be able to manage the problems without people knowing that you have problem. I have a right caliber of uh, staff that I'm working with, you know, I'm just a clearing house. So I give kudos to them. They are always there for me. And anytime I call them for any assistance, they are there to do it. So uh, the director of competitions, the head of international, the director of technical, and all the staff of uh, the Nigeria Football Federation were very dutiful. And I, I, I thank them for that. Uh, you know, I, I, I rose from the bottom ladder to the top of where I am as, as assistant secretary general to director of competition and of course to the, the general, general secretary. secretary. So if at this stage, after passing through this one, is not able to know what is doing, to do, yeah. then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it is not worth you being in the position you are occupying. So I, I must say that uh, uh, we give glory to God for that. Are you positive? A lot of people have likened it to, you know, not preparing well, Nigeria doing it. I'm very positive. I'm optimistic we can do what we did in 2013. Do you share such optimism? I am very, very positive. I've always been telling Nigerians that uh, we are not missing any player. We would have loved that the players that are not here are here with us. But Nigeria, if you are looking for talent, you discover one. There are yet many undiscovered. Uh, the players we have there are as, are as good as those that have not come. So this is an opportunity for them to prove themselves. And um, I, I can assure you, that uh, we are not missing any player and you you see it in the field of play by the grace of god we'll take the trophy well we should have had more time but i know you're busy so we had to borrow you for a while so that you go back to do your work thank you so much sir for having us uh join us on the nfft tv pre-afcon interview with you we you're appreciate welcome. it and good luck to all of us you're welcome my sugar all right thank you sir <laughs> <laughs> all right then thank you very much we just had a rare interview with the nigeria football federation general secretary dr mohammed senusi on nfft tv about the preparation towards the 33rd edition of the Africa Cup of Nations. We'll have more of this in, of course, days to come. Thank you for staying tuned.